Good morning and welcome back to another vlog. So we are heading show jumping today. We're going to a really local venue to us, which is called Church Farm Equestrian. We hired this in the very beginning when I first got Chalky and it was one, one of the first places that we went. It's really nice and we're going just show jumping. So the bonus of Church Farm is it's literally 15, 20 minutes from us. And they do juniors in the morning and seniors in the afternoon, which means we've got the whole day to get everything sorted. I can potter about, I can do loads of stuff that I need to do with the yard. And there's no rushing around. I'll probably still end up being late and still end up being rushed. But yeah, there's no pressure, so which is really, really nice. So we've entered the 80, we've entered the 90, which is a step up for us. But I thought it was the perfect opportunity with it being local, with us being there before and it's actually quite a nice venue and sometimes they do build up big, sometimes they don't but unfortunately that's just life and that's tough. When we go out eventing I always feel like the 80 show jumping is really full up so I'm hoping this will take off the, the pressure when we go out eventing with the 80s and they won't feel as big if we, get, we can train at the 90. And the real reason for this is hopefully next season I would like to at some point be jumping the 90s event and um, obviously we haven't jumped a B80 this year we've just been jumping the unaffiliated 80s because I didn't know how many events we were going to get to I didn't know if we were ready for it when we did the first one we kind of just threw us both into the deep end and I didn't see the point in registering the membership because we weren't going to be able to make many of the events which were local to us and it would have been like over three hour drive for each one and that was just pointless when we've got so many unaffiliated local events all under two hours that are running event and classes so we decided not to register for this year we are going to register for next year and we're going to obviously plan properly but my long-term goal and i'm putting it out there on the vlog, I would love nothing more than to be jumping the B90s in a couple of seasons to come and hopefully at some point chase a grassroots qualification and I'm saying that very, I don't know what the phrase is that I'm looking for but there's no pressure on it, I'm not like I have to do that, I'd love to do that, that would be amazing, Like I'd feel like that would really tick off one of my bucket list things if we if we did that but if we don't we don't there's no pressure on it but yeah that's the real reason for stepping up to the 90 class today and we'll just see how we get on i've just got to remember what i've learned in my lessons neutral body position softer hands legs on go with them and the 90s will be a breeze because he was jumping bigger than that when i bought him it's just me and my confidence so yeah i've got quite a fair bit to do because i've got so much time so i'm gonna feed muck out and then i am gonna go and get some shavings i'm gonna borrow my dad's van i could do it go into the tip because i've had a bit of a clean out and i've got loads of rubbish um so he is black like actually black i've got two bays in a black right now because i put him up without a rug so he came in like this um and he's had quite a fair bit of time off he hasn't done much since camp he's had a lunge and a hack he might be a little bit fresh but i do think he just deserved it hello sleepy so the boys all were mucked fed and hey and i left them in today because it's super windy and for anyone Who's new here? This is my daughter's little pony and she, she, he is actually the only original pony from when I started my vlog, which is nearly a year ago now. Um, he's the only one because obviously we had to sell Bambi and obviously we lost Kipper, which is also coming up to a year, which is really sad. So he's the OG of this youtube so i've been since then you know got all my shavings that big pile is to go to the tip and i'm hoping once i've bath chalky i can do that because it's really annoying me i um 
picked up some other little bits in the feed shop as well so we got this i'm hoping it will help frankie's legs so we came back from the breakers and she said that he'd rolled right in the electric fencing so he's got a big slice out of the hole of his leg like right around his foot and on his leg as well so i'm hoping that will help promote the growth of the hair so that it doesn't grow back white i'd be really upset if it does obviously because he's going to be a show pony i got chalky a new salt work good old purple shampoo and then i got the two bigger boys um a new grass swinger each i say two bigger boys actually one's for frankie and one's for chalky because buddy doesn't really entertain them he's got a lick in there already and he's just like nah so i'm just gonna crack on bath him i want to try and do as many as like my evening jobs so that when we get back we can literally unhitch clean the trailer out feed and then get going to go and pick harper up he is finally clean two lots of blue shampoo two lots of purple shampoo and he is finally clean i don't even think some of the stable stains have come off they were that bad but he's just having some little munchy on some grass while he dries and then i'm gonna get a fresh bed in his stable get the two other boys skipped out before we go get all the hay nets done for tonight even get their feeds and stuff ready so that when we get back it's nice and easy and quick Six rides, yeah.
gonna bob in and say this fence was completely my error he was just bolding on so confidently and I felt like I had no control to the point where I took a huge pull and took my leg off and obviously resulted in such a crappy stride and then there to the red oxer I just felt like I had no control and I literally regretted taking him in on the snaffle I was like what have I done first pull was his error just a little bit careless behind but couldn't have been happier now I've been in for the 80 had two poles I went in as my instructor from camp told me on the snaffle not on the bottom ring and I honestly just felt like I had no control so we're back on the bottom ring for the 90 I am nervous about the 90 but if we ever want to step up now is the time to do them stepping stones and hopefully have a nice easy jump round and not bothered about poles just nice and consistent in pace and rhythm will do me why is that so big to the 90 it was a bit messy he was still as keen i felt like i was fighting with him like there i was like just wait my legs on to support yeah you can make the distance but please just wait instead of rushing um he was still rushing here so we did have the back rail of the oxa but all in all i felt like we were meeting fences in a better rhythm we were getting a better stride to them all i did still feel like he was running 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 but Everyone's telling me, let him go forward. So that's exactly what we did today. Here, I was just trying to say to him, just steady because you dish it behind. And he was having none of it. And then we got to the fence and I took my leg off. And I was like, why did you take your leg off? So I did really let him down at that multicolour fence, which I'm gutted about. Because I don't mind poles, but when I let him down like that, it does bother me. But I do think I rode him so much more positively. Yeah, I was having to take a pull. But my leg was there to support the pull to say, you can still travel, but just steady and just wait for me because otherwise you're doing this without me and one of us is going to get hurt. He met that ox set, lovely. And I put my leg on, I was like, no, go for the last one because he was going to chip in. So he's such a good boy. We had such a good round. First ever 90 complete. The nerves where something else I don't know if you're going to be able to see on the video but I was like <sighs> trying to compose myself when we were in there but it wasn't tidy we had two poles but he is so much more confident and the jump that you get out of him at 90 is so much more powerful and he felt insane um he just was very keen obviously where he's been off for like a week and he's only had light work he was so keen to just go quick and i think if i probably would have let him go at his pace he would have made the distances but for example coming around to number five he was disunited so i was trying to get him to come back to me to then get the right leg to then send him forward and yeah we it's all a learning curve and it wasn't perfect it's far from perfect and bit by bit we're just going to keep chipping away at the confidence at the higher height but I'm just so glad we did it. I was saying to Aaron before we get, went in, I might just jump in the warm-up and then retire. And he was like, no, you're going in. And I'm so glad that you forced me to go in because the high that we're on now is amazing. He's the best boy. And I don't care about poles, poles, whatever. Um, yeah, he, he's just fab. And we finally even like pushed ourselves out of our comfort zone and jumped the next height. So I am super happy. We're going to get these this this boy home 
and we will see you in the next vlog the next vlog probably isn't going to be for a few weeks it was going to be a little bit of a break because he's getting a well deserved seven to ten days off they're not robots they all need a break and i'm going away for the weekend this weekend coming to belfast for a hen do so perfect timing for him to have a break and then next competition back from his break is going to be Kelsall Hunter Trial. We've also got some cross country training at Smallwood booked in. And we've got a one day event at Ellen Lodge. Some people say Ellen, I call it Ellen. Someone tell me is it Ellen or Ellen. But yeah, that's our plans for the next few weeks. He's having a break. And I think he deserves it because he's been an absolute godsend since he got here. So see you all in the next vlog and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye guys.